So the sewing tomato tells us we need the following threads in felt: beige, light blue, white, plus three embroidery threads: pink, blue, and yellow. Now it's template making time. So grab your cardboard, your ruler, and your compass. Then set your compass to a length of six centimeters. So go ahead and mark a center and draw your circle. Then we want to get our ruler and start drawing diameters through the center of our circle. We want to make a pizza separation, so that means eight pieces like so, all going through the center. Then you want to get your ruler and go on every single wedge line and mark exactly twenty-three millimeters. Then we're making these tiny wedges, and the base of the wedge will be approximately two centimeters. When you've ended up with something like this. Go ahead and cut out your template. Now it's time to transfer this design onto our blue felt. So firstly, cut out the circle by following your template, and then you'll have two circles like this. Next, grab your compass again and set it to the length between the point of the wedge and the center of the circle. We're going to trace this smaller circle onto the blue felt using a lead pencil or felt chalk. Next, we want to get a blue marker pen, and we're going to indicate where the edges of our small wedges are. Once you've gone all the way around your circle, you want to join them up to make something exactly like this in the video shown here. So now it's time to get sewing. So grabbing your blue thread, thread your needle with double thread. Then take a wedge corner of your piece, folding it along the dotted line, and now we're going to do a first overhang stitch to secure the beginnings of the thread, and we're going to do a running stitch along this line here. Go right to the edge of the felt piece. Then, when you've reached the edge, come back doing a back stitch. We're going to return our needle and thread to the corner of the wedge, so that we can secure and knot off the thread, and then cut off the excess thread. You'll then be presented with something very much like this. So go ahead and do this with all your little wedges on your felt piece. Once you've done that, you'll have a piece looking like this, which will now turn inside out. And ta-da! You have something that looks like a Jello. Now we're going to make the icing for our ice cream piece. So grabbing a small piece of white felt, using your scissors, just cut out a、um, topping shape. Make it as neat or as untidy as you like. We're now going to attach some sprinkles to our topping. So, taking your embroidery thread color of choice, here I'm using pink. Start threading little stitches onto your white topping piece. You can just use one long thread piece to do many little tiny stitches, as shown in the video. Once you've put as many sprinkles as you like for that one color, turn your piece over. It'll look like this. Separate some of the threads of that strand, then tie a knot and cut off the excess thread. Go ahead and do this with all your colors for your sprinkles. Next, grab your white thread, and we're going to attach the white piece to the blue piece now. All we're going to do is do a running stitch. Along the edge of the white piece, all the way around this topping shape. Finish going around your whole icing. Make sure you end your thread inside the ice cream piece. So hook some felt, make a loop, and hook a knot with your thread. I did it three times for extra security. Then you can grab your scissors and cut off the excess thread. Next, we want to thread our needle with some blue thread, and what we're going to do is we're going to do something called gathering the edges. All we need to do is do a running stitch along the edge of our blue piece, as shown in the video here. Then, as you pull it together, it gathers and we create a spherical shape. But before we want to gather it all together, 
We want to put some polyester filling inside our ice cream cone to make it nice and plushy. Like so, by pulling the thread together, our ice cream becomes more round. Put this aside. It's time to make the cone template. Draw a line of 102 millimeters, then grab your projector and mark 76 degrees on the right side from the right side of your 102 millimeter line. Then grab your compass, set it to 102 millimeters, and draw this arc as shown here. Then take your ruler, draw in your 76 degree mark with the baseline and with the arc line to create this sector here. Go ahead and cut out your cardboard template. We've now made the cone template from card, so this means we need to grab our beige color felt and cut this sector from our felt. With your felt sector, what we want to do is we want to sew it together to create the cone piece. So, as in the video, put your edges together, then grab some thread and we're going to do an overcast stitch along the edges here. An overcast stitch is just going round the edges, otherwise known as an overhang stitch. Do this all the way to the point of your felt piece. Once you've done that, what we want to do now is to turn the piece inside out. You may need to grab a pencil to help you make the point pointier. When you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. Now we're going to go ahead and grab some polyester filling and stuff that cone to make it plushy. Using your pencil to help you push some fluff right into the corner of the cone piece. Make sure it's nice and overstuffed. Then we can join our cone and our ice cream scoop together. The way we do this is we're going to do the overcast stitch again. So just follow the video here. You may notice that the thread, the blue thread I'm using is the same piece of thread that I used to gather the edges of the ice cream scoop piece. Meaning that I never, I never cut the thread off. Even if you do cut the thread off, don't worry, you can just attach another piece of thread right away. Go all the way around, attaching your scoop to the cone. Now we want to hide those stitches. So we're going to make a swirly ribbon piece. Grabbing two pieces of felt like this, we want to join them together at the ends, and this can be done with a simple overcast stitch. Then you want to go ahead and overcast stitch your overcasted stitched ribbon pieces to the ice cream cone as shown in the video here. We're simply just joining the two pieces together, the ice cream and the ribbons. Once you've securely joined them, We want to grab the two ribbons and make a nice swirly whirly sort of thing as shown in the video. Then we want to go back and secure the swirly whirly to the ice cream cone by joining the two pieces together using a hidden ladder stitch. And a hidden ladder stitch is where you take some felt of one side of the fabric then some felt from the other fabric. So, as you can see, I'm taking some felt from the swirly ribbon piece, then I'm nicking some felt from the ice cream cone piece, and pulling my thread. Doing this all the way around will attach the swirly ribbon piece to the ice cream cone. You also want to do the ladder stitch between the beige cone piece and the swirly piece. This is to make sure that the swirly woolly piece is well secured to both the cone and the ice cream cube scoop piece. Then once you're done, you can go ahead and tuck away your thread, then knot your thread, 
and do what you need to do until it's nice and secure, then chop off the excess thread and needle. Then voila, complete!